Hey guys, welcome back to Casey London. And today I'm going to show you how to do a style in a card game. So first you're going to practice first you're going to practice on your red to me. Also that can so yeah. So first you're going to have to be able to do as first you have to be able to do things like doing a hand from standing to a position. And then go start to do Think over your feet. Right there, just one, so one feet and then the other is going to be together. But since you need to be able to do that, you have to be able to do a back walk over or a bridge kick over to do it. And just a normal back bend. So first, you're going to do to start the back side. You have to start like this. And your arm, you make sure they're all the way back here. And jump and lean back. If you just like, if you're just like able to already do your back to wait till like end of the video to show some tips that can improve your back to you. So first you're going to jump, first you're going to go like this, jump and lean back 10 times, 10 times. And when you finish you do 10 times, it doesn't like if you're in the end of space like um, a patch of grass, if you're anywhere with a soft landing spot, where if you just like fall, you're, you're okay. And if you and if you just have a cut of grass, if you're not okay with it, you can just have somebody to spot you. My my national spotting person is actually behind the camera. Is actually behind the camera. Since you always spot me, when well, I'm not on the camera. So when you do this, you're going to do this and backwards. So this. Go like they're going to go like that into a bridge like this. Do it. Do it. Ten times a year. Just this. They're going to you're going to practice going into a bridge, and then you have to get it. You're going to actually knock into the back end. Then this is the part where I actually reach in the back end screen. Since um the one person who can spot me is behind a camera, I've got to to be doing it by myself without any spotting. So first, this is the part. This is my favorite in the back of the If I if I begin, I actually bend your legs like I did. Like stand like this. And jump. You'll be in a handstand position, like that position. When you're in the middle of your backhand spin. So when I actually get it, you can actually try to do your backhand to the spotting, and then when you actually feel comfortable, you can actually try to do it by yourself. And then for the people who actually have their back as being here are some tips to improve it. So first I'm not um, so first I'm not putting a sign back hand screen for like people who can already do a sign back hands and have it properly. There are some other tips, there are some other um tumbling things you can actually do to have your sign back hand screen. When get used to doing your fan back and spring, you can just like if you, if you can just do a collector you can just round up, stop, and back and spring. Since it is not that much of a soft place, I'm gonna add a very mallet to open my legs, my back and spring. So like, Where's my control? And so like from the for the kids, that's all the kids. Like going into your back hand screen, it's easier to just like squeeze your belly and squeeze your butt. Mm -hmm. So it's easier. Mm -hmm. So 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 you can like control your legs. And then I'm about to my screen and go to your back hand screen. 
and it should be closed. And then, and then if you're used to doing a normal back and forth, you can do this. Okay, so like the tips are squeeze your belly on your bottom and that is all. So like if you actually get your back handspring, you can either try to do you can either try to connect your back handspring with other back handsprings or just do a connection like Enjoy today. Enjoy today's video. I hope you like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Bye, guys.